In this video we will be looking at VS Code and using its remote code editing features. In the School of Computer Science this is typically used in our courses where we have OpenStack instances and you can connect them remotely and edit your code on them remotely. The first thing you have to do is install Visual Studio Code. We won't go over the details of installing it here as it varies whether you have a Mac or Windows or Linux. In this case I'm on a Windows system and I've installed Visual Studio Code and I have opened it up and we're on the welcome screen. As is the case with a lot of Visual Studio Code features, uh, we actually rely on extensions to do different things, and that's the case for remote code editing. So what we will do is, uh, on the, the left, at least in my Windows view, at the very bottom, you'll see an icon called Extensions. You can click on that, and that'll open up the Extensions Manager. And there's a search box at the top. We're going to search for Remote SSH. So you can start uh, typing out uh, remote SSH and you'll get a few hits. Uh, the one you want is this one that's remote space dash SSH. So we can install that. And when this is installed, it's actually going to install a few additional um, uh, required extensions. So now if we go back to the extension manager, we can just click out of it and click back in and uh, I'll close the search and it should now show three installed extensions. So this was the remote SSH and all the ones that we require. Now in order to show you how to edit remote code we actually have to have a remote instance running. So if we look over at my OpenStack uh, dashboard I've logged in and uh, I'm running a test instance on the Comp2401 uh, Fall 23 project. So I have the instance here and the important thing to note is the IP address so 134.117.130.199 so you will also have to have an instance set up and have a floating IP addre uh, address for it and all that you, we have other videos that explain how to set up an instance on our OpenStack. The first thing we have to do with our instance is make sure we can SSH to it. So we're going to do that test now. I'm going to do the test with PuTTY. So it's a, a tool for doing SSH on Windows and there's lots of different tools and you can even do it from PowerShell if you want now directly on Windows. And if you're on a Mac or Linux you can uh, just use the command line. And all these details are covered in some of our other help videos. So I'm going to open this connection and I've already logged into this instance so it is not going to ask me to change uh, the password for the student account but if it is the the first time that you've logged in then it is going to ask you to change the password and I just have to type it correctly there we go so I am on it successfully SSH to that instance so we know SSH is working So now we're going to use Visual Studio Code to connect to our remote instance. So I will zoom in a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Uh, on the left side you'll see the extensions button and below that is the new remote explorer button. So we'll click on that and there's a spot here called SSH that allows us to create a new SSH connection. So if you hit the plus button you can, as it shows you, you type in SSH and the username and uh, host name that you're connecting to. So in this case it's going to be SSH student at 134.117.130.199 and again that IP address will be your IP address. So we'll hit enter and then it's going to ask uh, what configuration file you want to save it to and this file will vary depending on the operating system um, but the default should be at the top so for me I'm just going to save it under my user uh, Windows user account and then uh, it'll say that the host has been added to the file so we can click on the connect button so the first thing it's going to do is ask what type of platform it is that you're connecting to. So in the case of pretty much all of our OpenStack instances, it will be a Linux platform. So you click on Linux, then it's going to want the password. So you put in the password that you set for that instance and hit enter. 
And so you'll see now it's downloading VS Code Server. So that's just installing a little uh, VS Code Server snippet on the instance itself so that it can basically coordinate its efforts between the client and the, uh, the remote host. So we'll close that. And it's actually opened up a new window here. So, and uh, we can access everything through here, but I'm actually gonna close this right now. So we'll close this connection. So go close connection and I'll close this extra window that opened. And I'm actually gonna close uh, Visual Studio altogether and uh, we'll show you what it looks like now. So I've just reopened Visual Studio Code, and again, we'll go down to the Remote Explorer. And now SSH has been updated. It actually shows that host that we created. So that's here now and the student uh, username. So what we will do is we will connect. So there's two connection options. You can open it in a new window, or you can press the little arrow, which will uh, connect to that host in the current window, which is what we're going to do. And again, uh, it's going to ask for the platform. So Linux and the password. Now we're not going to cover it here, but you can set up SSH keys as well with uh, VS Code. And that means you won't have to put in the password every time. Okay, so all of this is uh, set up here now. So this is the home directory of that uh, student account. So it shows all the various folders like the desktop folder and everything that you would see if you log into that instance. Now um, I also have a, a little assignment code folder here that I created earlier and in it is this hello world. So hello world.py and you can actually run that from here. So you can for instance right click on a folder and you can say open in integrated terminal so it will actually open that folder in a terminal here so you now have a terminal window that is uh, the same exact same shell that you would see when you logged in with putty and you can for example we know uh, do an ls so the hello world.py program is here so we can run that so python and hello world and there you go, Prince Hello World. So that is how you connect to remote code with Visual Studio Code.